Hey, welcome Nate here with Operation Grind and in this video I'm going to show you a side-by-side -side comparison of the IC Real-Time 5 megapixel uh, fisheye camera versus the Hike Vision 6 megapixel IR panoramic camera. So let's get started here. What you're looking at right now obviously is the fisheye view. Um, we got two cameras set up. We got the ones I just mentioned. Uh, for the most part, looks looks good. Picture looks good in the uh, in the fisheye view. Uh, let's look at the uh, dewarped view. We'll go split. Okay. Again, looks good. What I do like about these cameras is the PTZ functionality that you do get with it. Now, keep in mind that the software, built-in software for these client programs, are actually dewarping this fisheye view so obviously if that's the case it's not going to be as high resolution high quality as it would be you know versus a, a, a like a dome camera or you know a fixed lens camera or, or what have you because it is de-warping the image um, with its built-in software so keep that in mind um, so if you're gonna try to do especially any digital zooming you know it's even gonna pixelate even more and you're not going to get that quality and if that is the case and it is of importance to you maybe you want to couple this camera with maybe a you know a fixed type camera so keep that in mind uh, another thing with the 5 megapixel IC real-time camera is it does not have IR built in so therefore if I shut the lights off or you know there's no no light source of any kind it's definitely going to be dark okay so but for the price, I don't think this camera breaks the bank by any means. Um, if it's something that, that you feel may be useful, maybe in a garage, you can always have this um, coupled with a um, maybe a motion sensor light or uh, just an IR, another IR source. So it uh, looks pretty good. Now let's head over to the, ice, to the uh, Hike Vision camera and, and see how that looks versus with this. It should obviously be a higher quality because it is a six megapixel camera so let's check it out all right cool so we're looking at the hike vision six megapixel panoramic ir tongue twisting camera uh, right away i could tell that the the picture quality is better but if it should be it's six megapixels colors stand more out not as grainy not as uh, uh, uh blurry around the edges and overall just a better looking picture. Uh, let's check out the fisheye expansion. We'll go with the four uh, camera split here like we did with the IC real time. Yeah, same thing, higher quality, colors pop more, uh, overall just a better image as far as uh, the picture quality. I do like the way the navigation, it seems that it just, it just navigates um, smoother, better, so I would have to give the leg up on the uh, on the Hike Vision camera. Again, I see real time camera, very good still, uh, but it doesn't have the IR. This does, which I'm going to show you. Let me get the lights turned off here. Okay, cool. I wasn't sure if the uh, if the uh, sensor would detect the lights going out and give us the IR view. So yeah, it it worked. Um, Again, the image quality obviously goes down. Night vision, uh, we are getting some light over coming from over from the windows. But and just to give you a little understanding of this setup here, this room is about, if I can use this one, it's about 80, no, 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 about 60 feet wide by about 40 feet. Okay, so pretty, pretty large area, about 2,000 or 2,400 square feet. Yeah, about 2,400 square feet. Um, the camera is about 12 feet in the air. I probably wouldn't want to go any higher than that. At definitely not over 15 feet, especially with the IC real-time camera. You may be able to go a little bit further with the Hike Vision camera because it is uh, a little bit higher quality or megapixel, I should say. Um, so again, um, again, leg up to Hike Vision. They got the IR on board. It is a six megapixel camera. Now, depending on the price, you know, you can definitely take that into consideration. Uh, Nate here with Operation Grind. I thank you for watching this video. I hope that you found value in it. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see any other videos and comparisons, side by sides, whether it be uh, communications, surveillance, any type of innovation or um, automation, um, 
please leave a comment below and uh, subscribe to our channel, right? I mean, we're going to be putting out tons of videos, tons of good content to hopefully um, fill the void that I feel is out there as far as product comparison. All right. Thank you again, Nate with Operation Grind.